Hi, welcome to this lecture for Ratio Analysis for Beginners. This lecture is titled, What is Ratio Analysis? Okay, so here's the assumption that's underlying everything going forward. The idea is that we're business managers or investors, and we want to make better financial decisions. Like, for instance, do I buy or sell or hold this stock? Or what strategy or actions should my business undertake? And then we have access to financial statements, which is a type of accounting information to help us make these decisions. So for making those decisions that we just mentioned, you can use a wide variety of sources. Our assumption is we're basing our decisions on, on the accounting information found within financial statements. Now the main financial statements are the income statement, the balance sheet and the cash flow statement. And ratio analysis is a financial statement analysis technique. You'll find that financial statements only show absolute numbers in their results. And these absolute numbers often hide or disguise some valuable accounting information. So for example, you may need to adjust the absolute numbers to account for the scale of a business, both within a business and across separate businesses. So for instance, profit of 100 in company A and a profit of 100 in company B may look identical, but company B may be 10 times the size of company A, and thus a profit of 100 in company A may appear more appealing because it's doing it with less. So scale is often hidden within financial statements. And often it can be difficult to see relationships across the statements and across time with absolute numbers alone. Sure, the information is there and you can find it, but often these relationships are often a bit harder to see. So what ratio analysis does is it takes data from the financial statements. It uses this data as inputs into common calculations, which are the ratio calculations. And these calculations result in new accounting information in the form of ratios. These, over, these ratios overcome many of the drawbacks we just mentioned. And it also offers new insights and views into the business. But a lot of what we've been talking about is a bit abstract. It's just me talking. Let's have a look at a quick example to see what ratio analysis is. So we have liabilities, which is listed on the balance sheet, and they may be 2,000. And we have assets, which are listed on the balance sheet, and they may be 8,000. And we can use a common ratio, which is the debt ratio, which we'll talk about a bit about later throughout the course. But the debt ratio is just liabilities divided by assets. So we have 2,000 divided by 8,000, and the result is we have a debt ratio of 25%. And with this debt ratio of 25%, we can now more easily see what proportion of assets are financed by debt. We can see 25% of assets are financed by debt, and thus we can assess a business's financing strategy, whether it's financing its assets from debt or equity. And we can also assess the ability of a business to pay off all its debt and assess the financial risk of a business. I'm sorry, there should be an extra S in assess there, but we can assess the financial risk. Can the business pay off all its liabilities if it sold its assets? So ratio analysis allows business traits from the financial statements to be seen easier, to be understood more readily, and these insights to be viewed in a shorter space of time. We can spot success or the lack of it. Ratio analysis can allow you to more easily spot the strengths or success of a business or the weaknesses or warning signs of a business. And overall, if we're going to make a good decision, whether it's in our own business or as an investment decision, we have to know what's going on in and around the business. We have to be as well informed as possible. And ratio analysis helps you tell the complete story of a business. It can allow you to ask more astute questions if you have access to particular managers or perhaps a financial advisor. It can guide you on where to conduct your next business investigations for clarifications. So if something appears in the financial statements and then appears more in focus within the ratios, you'll know that if you're going to conduct any further investigations, you may start after that particular debt ratio calculation and analysis. 
But the overall goal, the ultimate goal of ratio analysis, it will allow you to make better business and investment decisions. And that's what ratio analysis is. Thanks very much.